we are back. Now, as before, that was actually a tune from the Dark Side Detective soundtrack. That one was from the previous case that I had completed, which is 66 and 6th Street. Well, the, uh, the, the Disorient Express, I believe, was the name of the case file. So, without further ado, let us go right back into Dark Side Detective and see what sort of shenanigans Francis McQueen and Dooley are going to get themselves into this time. Boom. Boom. Oh man, I completely forgot to settle up so I could show you Dooley's website. I don't know, maybe maybe I'll still do that at the end of this. I know I said I was going to do it last time, but, you know. There's really not much to it. I checked it. It's just a bunch of, like, introductions to a bunch of articles that he wrote, and um, every time you click on one of them, it just takes you to the game's official website. But still, it's it's an interesting little... Addition, shall we say. Police force! Case summary. Today is my day away from cases to catch up on paperwork. See how well that's going to go. You ready, detective? Huh? Well, McNugget's retirement party. Caterer has arrived with the cake. Grab your gift and let's go. McNugget, you say? Gift? I thought you'd forget. Don't worry. I put your name on my gift. It's from us. My notes from open cases. Downtown Ghouly Man, a possibly undead, Flasher. Mirror J. A woman appearing in mirrors to other women who look exactly like her. How spooky. Lycan Toupee. A wig made from werewolf hair, which turns others into werewolves when worn. Maybe that should be werewolves? This is my life now. Terrible puns. Stupid, stupid supernatural. Dick Brickman. This is Twin Lakes FM, featuring me, Dick Brickman. Bringing you Dick Brickman Presents the Weather with me, Dick Brickman. It's raining. Tune in later for me, Dick Brickman, presenting Dick Brickman's Tricky Kicks. Featuring me, Dick Brickman. When all this dark side stuff is put to bed, I'm gonna see the whole world. I actually don't know what's in these. The keys were lost before this became my office. Trusty coat. Goes with everything from shirt and tie to sportswear. This computer has been with me since the beginning. The budget won't allow for an upgrade. My folders are weird goings-on in Twin Lakes. My various attempts to file reports for the things I've seen. Hurry up! Cake! Well, I mean, you don't need to tell me twice. Why is this broken? Maybe the motor is bust? I'll have to look at this later. Because apparently I'm also a handyman. There's a magnet in here if I can find a way to pop open the tiny latch. A glass of cold, refreshing... Oh, this is warm. And oddly colored. I don't remember this place being so run down. Nothing beats that first cup of coffee. If only I had a slice of pie to go with it. Gurgle, gurgle. Oh, cool. Java, sweet Joe, black oil, Uncle Moo Moo's morning surprise, the liquid viper, coffee. Caffeine, caffeine. Some damn fine coffee you got here in Twin Lakes, and some damn fine cherry pie. 
though I don't have any pie, obviously. There's a McCain. Do you think I'll have my own office someday? I hope so, buddy. I hope so. This place is fabulous. One day you could be as important as this. You just gotta get yourself that first case. I solve cases all the time. Arresting a giant marshmallow man isn't a case. It's the result of too much coffee. Best hair on the force. Okay, I'll give him that one. This one looks homemade. Best at not being McQueen. The king won this for being the best diver on the force. I don't recall anyone else being allowed to partake. Apart from the hole and <laughs> apart from the hole for the air supply, McKing's trophy is actually a working airtight helmet. If I found a tube, I could get this back in action. So I'm just stealing it, you know, from the man's office. His machine is an off button. Impressive. It's full of signed pictures of McKing. Figures. There's space in here for a pottery wheel? The king and the chief. I guess these are the photos you get when you're married to the mayor. Seems Murakami has a set a new high score in whatever he's playing. Damn it! How am I meant to get better than him if you keep making me do work? Tell me that, eh? Officer Murakami's desk. That guy always has some reason to walk around talking to people instead of doing work. Broken wires. Murakami won't care if they're gone. Okay. I'm just collecting people's trash now, that's what I do. The pressure seems gone. I should fix it before it's needed. Cause I'm just wandering around the offices taking everything. <laughs> Murakami's broken headphone wires. A reminder of what to get him for his birthday. That's why I've picked them up, you see. A fire extinguisher with no pressure. Detective Wazinski. No talk. Working. Friendly as ever, Wazinski. Go away. Oh god! <laughs> what the fuck? I meant to say surprise, detective, not fire. Dooley, the gifts are on fire. They sure are impressive. We use the same banner for every retirement. Chief Scully. Agent Scully. Budgets have to be cut somewhere, detective. Do slash budgets explain why the sprinkler system isn't putting out that fire? That's <coughs> interesting. Why don't you go do some detecting, detective? This is no time for reading whiteboards. I am gonna devour that thing. Hands off, officer. We're not cutting into it yet. But chief! Really? Is the cake more important than the fire? Actually, who brought fire? We discussed this last time, no more gifts of fire. Goddamn cops thinking they're Prometheus. <laughs> Prometheus! <laughs> Indeed. Hey, I wanted extra cream on my slice. Pressurized can of whipped cream. can 100% say this is not something I expected to do today. You received item. Fix fire extinguisher. Well, I clearly need, know what I need to do here, but before that... 
Why are these sprinklers broken? What's going on here? Julie, there's a fire. This party is on fire. Chief, there's a fire. Here we go. I've told you detectives before, I can't solve every little thing for you. Honestly, it's I've uncovered a crime ring this, and I've lost my gun that with you lot. Well, not today. I'm relaxing and having a drink. But in silence, detective. In silence. Oh, I love all the booze we have at these things. What about the fire? Keep your complaining to yourself, Killjoy. <laughs> Two days left to retirement and I'm in a room with an uncontrolled fire. Just like the old gypsy woman said. A cork pin board covered in paper. 100% fire fuel. I need to get this in check, and soon. Gifts are on fire, nobody seems to care. Damn drunken cops. Whoosh! That's taken care of. Wait. What's that? That urn. You mean our gift? Julie, where did you get that? In that mysterious Chinese shop we visited last week. Investigated. We investigated it. For gremlins. That seems like racial profiling to me. Julie, he clearly had gremlins, which you then bought and brought to the station. Well then, case closed. Duly, the lid was burnt off. The gremlins are missing. And the station is crumbling apart. Like I said, case closed. Duly, we need to find them before somebody gets hurt. Here, take this. But, cake! <laughs> Detective. Can you see the fire, Chief? Of course, it was right there. And you didn't do anything? What can I do? People want to re-gift the fires, I got them last month, then let them. Wait, you were the one who set those fires around the station last month? They were beacons of hope, all very metaphorical. They were real fires. Metaphors can be very real. Chief, why is McKing's office so much nicer than mine? You think our barely legal goblins and ghouls division should have a bigger office than the mayor's husband? Just be glad you're not down in the basement. Thanks for supporting the dark side division, chief. Don't thank me. Just keep the city clean of those oogie boogie men. And the oogie boogie women. And the non-binary oogie boogies. No discrimination in regards to oogie boogies. Except for the discrimination of keeping them out of Twin Lakes. Apart from that one, yes. I think there may be gremlins loose in the station. Seriously? We just talked about this. You have one job. One job! No Oogie Boogies in Twin Lakes. This station is in Twin Lakes. Get this situation under control, Detective. On it, Chief. No party for you two until this mess is cleaned up. Get to it. Oh. We need to find those gremlins, Dooley. I don't understand why we're celebrating yet. I've got two days left till retirement. We can't risk you not making it and us losing out on a party. Obviously, these people are savvy. I should be offended, but I do like a good party. It's the donut and coffee rota. Important stuff. Take out menus. In fact, I'm seeing nothing work related in here at all. It's a party, guy. Relax. I was 
probably nothing new going on here. Further along, then. Ah, uh, there he is. And he said, hey, that's my kid's candy. Give it back. So I told him I was the mayor's husband, then showed him my badge and fined him for obstruction of justice. Oh, you're so bad. It must be so great for you to have a real detective like McKing around to learn from. That'll be us one day, detective. You'll be McKing, and I'll be Dallas. You know what I mean. I don't have time to talk to you. Isn't there a Wookiee or something you should be arresting? That's not what... Whatever, McLean. Live long and prosper, dork. Now... You're more sci-fi than a cult there, McKing, so you know... Yeah. <laughs> the staff bathroom. So horrible, people only enter for the most dire of emergencies. Hands off, McLean. Something's broken the evidence door. Probably you and your idiot sidekick's fault. I'm gonna fix it with my manly skills and muscles. If you really want to help, you can fetch me some more coffee. No need for sugar. Dallas is enough sweetness for me. Oh, you're so bad. I hate that man. But he's so dreamy. Here's your frickin' coffee. I knew you were good for something, McLean. You have coffee! <gasps> oh my god, it's a puppy dog! It's so, it's so cute! Excuse me while I kind of freak out a little bit here. Well, I don't need it, I find a working extinguisher. Officer Cal. He was meant to be a sniffer dog, but somebody decided to train him only to sniff out candy. Think of all the candy-related crimes he's been able to help us solve. True, we did have an alarmingly high rate of candy smuggling in Twin Lakes. Good job, officer. Woof. Hands off. My lunch is in there. Why is it hidden in work files? So nobody here will touch it. You're a wise man, Banks. What do you want, detective? Can't you see I have a reception desk to recept at? Well, I mean, there's gremlins and such, but okay. Speaking of... This is the first bit of actual police work I've seen in this place today. Oh wait, I want to go back here for a minute. Do we have anything interesting to say? Banks was my mentor when I joined the force. That's why they bust me down to desk cop. I used to work in dispatch. Until I dispatched the entire force to the chief's house trying to order myself some late night pizza. I don't know much about how all this works, but I know that's not right. It's a mug. Normal run of the mill mug. I don't know why I feel this need to comment on every item in a room. It's almost as if I am part of some sort of video simulation. Can't talk now, detective. The system's broken and I can't figure out why. Maybe, maybe if you looked over at the... Okay, never mind. Servers for the TLP. Ha! Bite! Ha! Ouch! Don't get too close, detective. That thing is a biter. He, he just... I just got... <sighs> yeah. Thanks, Dooley. Thumbs up! Yummy, yummy wires. He's trying to hack the database and steal all the human info. We should fry him, detective. Interesting idea.
I don't really know what to do there, but let's give him a motor. Okay, never mind. I'll deal with you later. Friday evening, 7 p.m., but crime never sleeps. Us, well, we take shifts, and we're off on public holidays. Gotta take those rest days, detective. I'll deal with you later. To the holding cells! What kind of cells is this place holding? Human, animal, or vegetable? The hose they use to loop through the cell door handles to lock the place up at night. Chief Scully really pulled this place into a sort of order, didn't she? Well, I know I can do this then. Plugging this into here gives me... Diving helmet. Fully functioning airtight helmet with secure air supply. That I'm going to need for god knows what reason. This guy's in police protection for informing. Because, you know, he's a rat. Haha. <laughs> We put, the, we put that up to cover the hole a prisoner dug to escape. Sadly for him, he dug his way into the rest of the station. Andy Dufresne, he is not. Try not toilet, your incarceration get you down. <laughs> Poor McQueen. Ouch! What? Did I poke myself? Oh hey! It's Roy. Did you hear? No, I'm not doing this. I just don't find toilets all that funny. Detective. I'm going to use my detectiving skills and say you're in for solicitation. Impressive! Your guess, not his soliciting. Right. Anyway, hand him over, Roy. Hand what over? Your matches and cigars. I wish I'd never met you, detective. Cool. More matches from Busty Bells. <laughs> Apparently I can just keep poking him. Sorry for taking your matches. I'm not so sure that you are. Hey, maybe you should be a detective too. Ah. Puts his name places so he knows what's his name and what's not. Seriously, what am I meant to say about them that isn't literally toilet humor? Old Tam loves to whittle. Whittle, whittle, whittle. Tam, you can't have a knife in prison. Tam can and Tam has. I'm afraid I have to confiscate that. Tam does not have a warmth for you in his heart. Well, Tam ain't got nothing to do no more. Prison is a punishing place. As it would be as. The knife I took from Tam. I wonder. Let's do some more investigation, shall we? See if I can get all the stuff I need to... Go to the gay garage. The car hole. Bridge. The police car hole. Hmm. Dispatch... Dispatch's junction box is screwed close. Can I open it with a knife? Have you ever tried to... I don't know... Open something like that just using a screwdriver? I've always been more of a lateral thinker. Hey, detective. Yeah? I think you're a better, de a better detective than the king. Thanks, Dooley. That really means a lot. I think you're a better sidekick than Dallas. Don't have her legs, though. Well, no, but if you did, that'd be theft, wouldn't it? Our government-issued block with wheels. Seriously, why does he get all these nice things? A bulletproof sports car. Jerk. There's a serious draft coming from those vents. A 
bolts probably just need to be tightened up. Okay, let's see. Oh look, a puzzle. I need to drag the wires from one node to the other, same colored node, without crossing them. Can't go that way because I'm probably all the wait no. Try that, and then we can do this. So that's not really anything's way. Oh no, man, this is easy. Boom. Eek! Hooray! I killed a small critter. Yes, the system is back online. Time to do some hardcore cop work. Okay, that should have shocked that monster in dispatch. I should go get it before it wakes up. Although before I do that... Some spare pipes from the work that's happening. A lump of cold, hard clay. I've no use for this right now. Maybe later, but not right now. Let's get the water flowing again in case another fire starts. Oh, another puzzle. This is more of a pipe dream thing, I guess. Maybe. Or whatever the name of that Bioshock-like puzzle is. The water pipes run all over the station, from the briefing room to the shooting range. But the system seems broken right now. Probably the gremlin's fault. No, that doesn't look like it's gonna do it. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Well, no, it's, it's gotta go from here to here, doesn't it? Oh wait, no, no, that's not gonna work. I'll be damned. This might be a little bit uh, tricky. Because I can only go that way, that can only come down here. I mean, that could go that way, but then that's just going straight across, so it's gotta go like that. I'm doing here. Where I can exit this? No, I guess I'm stuck doing the puzzle until it's done. All right. Well, I mean, that's clearly got to go like that. That's clearly got to go like that. And that has to go like this. Wait a tick. Boom. This 
sprinkler should be working now. Gary Plinkman. You add me out of work, you will. You never know what a detective's gonna have to do, Gary. He don't look very busy. But what tools bust? So Union says I don't work. Not my place to go against Union. Seem familiar. I know you. Not that I know of, no. Oh wait, Gail Plinkman, I think, was the name of the ha the, the the handy ghost that was in the library. If I borrow this, why not? And see me get back to work in time soon. Monkey wrench. A tool for adjusting bolts of various size. Nothing to do with monkeys or fire hydrants. At least, oops. <laughs> I moused a little bit too far off the screen. The gremlins have broken everything else around here. I'm sure that if I didn't remove this now, it'll fall off soon anyway. Neither of us believes that, but I'm so into this. But I'm so into this. Fight the system. Duly, we're part of the system. Speak for yourself. I'm bringing this place down from the inside. I... I kind of knew that. <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. Feel bad about it? I'll take this for my trophy cabinet. I mean, I'll take it to be repaired. Yeah, that second one. Detective, how do you get all these things into your pockets? Origami? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the hood from a king's car. Bulletproof, but not air vent proof. Let's say the vent broke because some maverick cop was crawling through it. Still nicer than our car. I hope they're building a gym down here. I like to work out while I'm bunking off work. Well, now that I'm up here, let's go deal with that, uh... Do I need to get you more coffee? I'll deal with that later. It's passed out. Let's get it out of here. Your received item. Dispatch Gremlin. Sound overload. Knock this guy out. Hands off, detective. They just came back online. I won't risk them failing again, but there's like a loose wire. Do we need to fix it? Some okay, you know what? I'll leave I'll leave you to it. You know what you're at. There's nothing in here but laxatives. Somebody put them there to suggest us cops are all full of shit. Twin Lakes Police Department, how can I direct your call? Laxatives. Oh. <laughs> There's an inevitable outcome to this item that I don't love. But actually I kind of do because... Yeah. Might as well take another cop. <laughs> I love how it has a little frowny face. I am really gonna ruin your day, McKing, and honestly, you look like you deserve it. Here's your coffee. Ahaha! <laughs> Keep the coffee coming, McLean. I could drink this stuff all day. Oh no! Oh no! Get out of my way! My insides make it stop. I hope he's okay in there. The people of Twin Lakes need a hero to look up to. That'll be us one day. You mean I'm gonna be having a horrible time in the bathroom? I had to fix this with my manly skills and muscles, but mostly by finding a way to cheat this magnetic lock.
But how do I get the magnet out of the shell? <laughs> Nothing like that, I'm sure. Oh. If it keeps hitting that spot while shooting at us, we need something stronger to hide behind. Looks like our guys are good enough shots to be stormtroopers. A junction box. The sprinklers are fixed now, but I need something to activate. The thing has good aim. We should get it on the force. How did it get a gun? Why is everything so unsafe in this station? Pew pew! <laughs> Junior, eh? I just have to angle it like this. Great, the junction box is broken and electricity is spraying out. As if this place wasn't broken enough already. No, all I need to do is bridge the gap between the gremlin and the electricity. And how precisely do I do that? With another gremlin! Good smelly spike. Pew pew! This should achieve uh, something. Ah, there we go. Perfect. That was a shocking way to wrap this up. Are you proud of that pun? More than I should be. Another case, another soaking. You should consider wearing a different colored shirt. I can see your nipples. Finally. Duly grab the gun and I'll take this guy. Shooting range grab. This guy shot at us. I've half a mind to flush this one down the toilet. Excuse me, my good man, but do you have something I can open this with? presumed you would have a screwdriver, but then again, you also don't seem terribly good at your job. I wish your ancestor was still here. Um, one second there, folks. I'll be right back.
Right, sorry about that. And we have returned again. Oh, dork side. Yes, that explains a few things. Role playbooks. Not actual contraband, but dangerous reading nonetheless. But not too dangerous for our weekly game. Doolish. I hope this illegal magical tome will be okay here and okay in here when the doors bust. Plastic skull, a surprisingly more dangerous occult item than a real skull. <laughs> All that remains from the mysterious walking luggage that ate everything case. Which is yet another Discworld reference, because that's probably Rincewind's hat, and the luggage is well a homicidally violent ambulatory traveling case with hundreds of tiny little eggs. 
Anyway, there's a gremlin. Um, um, claw face. It's too dangerous to get near. I need to find a way to knock it out. Like these gas grenades that are just here, hanging out here. This would knock me and Dooley out too. I need to find some protection first, like oh, this one. Dooley, take this hose outside and keep the fresh air coming. I look so badass. Take this, you little monster! Uh oh. Gramps! While it's unconscious, I'll stuff it into my seemingly magical pockets. Right, that's all. Uh, that's them all. I'll get Dooley and we can go to the office and put this case to rest. That'll have crammed a bunch of gremlins into my pants. I swear that's not a euphemism for anything. Okay, let's lock these suckers into their new urn and get back to that party. Party! Um, okay, there we go. In you go, sleepy monster. Ugh, hate that you're making us work on a day off. It's a going away party, not a day off. Well, I hadn't planned on doing any work today. Back to captivity, my monstrous pal. Welcome home, the ha <laughs> Oops. Oops. Is that it? What do we do now? Push them down the toilet and go back to the party? We need to make a new urn. A magical one that can actually hold them. <laughs> you receive item, gremlins, again. Well... Thankfully, I feel like I know exactly what I need to do here. This is a good urn making material. Oh, surprisingly convenient that there's a pottery wheel in here. A lump of cold, hard clay. It's too dry to use. Meaning... Okay, let's soften that up. Wet clay. Clay, ready for use. Let's do this. How do you know how to make an urn? I watch that film Ghost a lot. For... research. An urn I made myself. I should stick it to my parents' fridge somehow. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to need the book? Maybe there will be instructions in here for sealing magical urns? Ripley's Cast It or Not, a magical tome taken from the library. Let's see. Warding rituals, spells to bypass doing the dishes, and... Aha! A diagram for how to seal magical urns. Handy. Time for some finger crafting of runes! One down. That's two! That's that done. Thank goodness. Let's get this somewhere safe. Okay, lock fixed and gremlin stash away. What have we learned from this dually? Not to eat so much sugar. I'm crashing now. I don't really remember much of what happened. But I'm sure it was nothing important. Now let's get back to the party. Hey, where's all the cake gone? We ate it all. Why is this place a mess? What did you two do? Well, there was... And, uh, we... Somebody let off a gas grenade. Nasty, big pointy teeth. The car was smashed when we got there. McKing did it. <sighs> Another one to file under dark side antics. Probably for the best, yes. Okay, well, you two better start cleaning. 
Budget doesn't allow for both your capers and custodial staff. Oh man, chores are no cake. This day did not play out the way I hoped. Lock miss. That will do. Do you want to quit the game? Sure, why not? Well, we got a little bit more of uh, Dark Side Detective left. So that's going to be all for me for today. So if you happen to stop by to watch, as always, I thank you very, very much for doing so. And hopefully you will join me next time, which is probably going to be Retro Sunday. It's unlikely I'm going to be streaming anything tomorrow. And uh, we'll carry on with... Shadows of the Empire. Maybe I'll do Cat Trap again? I'm still on... I mean, I was planning on doing it last week, if not for the fact that I was a bit sick. But uh, I'm still on two minds of whether I actually want to play more of that or if I'm going to move on to something else. I might just move on to something else. I don't know. We'll see. In any case, that'll be a decision for Sunday. Until next time, however, until then, I once again thank you very much for stopping by to watch. If you indeed did so... And until then, and, ho and hopefully I'll see you fine folks next time. Wow, I'm getting all of it jumbled now. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. As always, I wish you a farewell, and I hope you have a great day. <laughs>